doing? What's he doing? Back up, back up, back up. The Airstream is officially gutted. Oh, easy. We are in Clearwater tonight. I'm Allison Morrow. Hi, I'm Allison Morrow. I'm Allison Morrow. And I've gone to a lot of places. On St. Pete Beach, Allison Morrow. And now with my former Force Recon Marine husband, I'm going off grid ish. Yeah. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but I think when we polish it up that it's, it's not going to be terrible. I, I definitely don't think we need to replace this panel, which is nice because that probably saved us, I don't know, $800 Woo doll hairs. I'm sure there's some, uh, some body guys out there right now that are like cringing at the fact that I was using a rubber mallet on the inside of that but I just wanted to see if it would pop out we could probably massage it and smooth it out a little better got a little battle scars on it this, this part here is it looks like it messed up the tail lights so we're gonna have to get like new tail lights I think but I think all in all can't complain about that so this panel on this one we won't know until we get the interior skin off this panel looks like it could be all right but this one like first of all this isn't even attached right here see how that's not even attached mm -hmm. so we're gonna be replacing that but this one I don't know if you can see it if you look point the camera down in this you can see where it's all dented up it looks like it was hit by something should have probably called it out when we were buying this thing uh, should have probably asked to peel this thing off and take a look at it. I don't know if, you know, hindsight being 2020, I don't know how much a difference we may have gotten in the price or anything like that, but we're gonna, I, I know for a fact, we're gonna have to replace this corner panel here. <laughs> Sounds like the dentist. I am going to remove the nuts, this nut. What? so that Lynn can then take out the outside piece so we can remove this panel. This is the hack job that they did. Must have gone into an accident, so it's uh, not pretty. Here. Ah! Okay, here we go. Now the next one. Oh. Did it come off? Yeah. All right. That one hurt a little bit. It just keeps coming off this thing. Well, you gotta hold, hold it against it. Got it. I don't know how this works. You're tired. We have a long way to go. A long oh, way to go. Don't be all pessimistic now. Not. See, Chaka's helping, finally. Chaka, what are you doing? I'd like to say something. I would like to go to Cabo for spring break, not renovate the Airstream. I want to go to Cabo. <laughs>
Chaka, you've never been to Cabo. My boyfriend at the dog park says it's awesome. You don't have boyfriends. The front is no longer attached. So we're gonna be getting all new panels on the front. And we have also decided that the interior panels are probably all going to be replaced because they have a lot of holes in them. And Lynn really wants to have the new silver finish look on the inside. So I figure if we're gonna have to replace a bunch of them, we might as well replace all of them and then we're gonna leave them silver and not paint them. And that's gonna be the interior color scheme for the walls. Well, you, I didn't just decide that. You liked it too. I like it, but I'm just saying that was kind of Lynn's idea. If we seem really tired, it's because we are. We are really tired. Airstream renovation is no joke. Any kind of renovation is no joke. And I don't pull out my purple overalls with matching jacket for anyone, but it's cold. So off we go. We're going to now begin uh, doing what? I don't know, what's next on the list? Take a nap, go do other work. What's on like the long-term list next? Well, uh, I think we're gonna save these corner panels, interior ones, just so we have a, uh, A, they don't take up much space, but B, that it'll give us the ability to uh, have a template for when we put the new ones in. Uh, the other stuff we'll take to the recycling plant. Um, next big thing will be taking out this floor, um, just so we could get a good look at the frame. And uh, I think though, before we do that, just to make it easier for working, we'll get a shop back so we can suck out all of this uh, remnants of this fiberglass, try to clean the interior walls as much as possible. Um, Cause they're gonna need to be spick and span when it does come time for us to eventually um, insulate. Let's see here. The other thing that we will have to do is at least try to get down on paper, like our wiring diagram. Like, so we'll just be getting rid of all this wiring. Like, ultimately we will, probably all of it, but at least get an idea of what went where. No need to reinvent the wheel on that one. Bye.